So now I hereby convene the meeting of the Conservation Commission. And since the first agenda item is the continuation of the public hearing for the Kestrel Land Trust Notice of Intent for Trail Improvements, I'm gonna recuse myself and hand it off to Montserrat. I will linger in the background in case you need to call me up for any uh, questions about procedure or regulations. It's all yours, Monty. Okay, thanks, Scott. All right, continuing the public hearing for Kestrel's notice of intent for work on the trails in Waitley Center Woods. Um, so we got the CONCOM got a letter from DEP telling us the file number and um, making three comments on the NOI. So first, I'm just going to read what those comments are. First one, as the commission is aware, there are two existing OOCs on this parcel. The commission should ensure there is no conflict between any new order and the addition, existing orders. Any previously approved boundaries under those orders must be used for this new project. No wetland data sheets were included in the NOI and plans are inadequate to show the location of any BVW. The commission will have to verify if the work will take place in BVW and or in the buffer zone. That was the first one. Second comment, the NOI states that 135 square feet of BVW will be altered by the work with no replication. Any boards placed in or on BVW are considered fill, which requires at least one-to-one -one replication. And the last comment, please note that 310 CMR 10.554A strictly for prohibits the impairment or destruction of BVW. Any bog bridges placed above the BVW, meaning not on the ground, but above the ground, are not allowed to impair or destroy the functions and values of the BVW. Sheet one fails to show the distance between the boards, which will allow sunlight to penetrate between them, but does show a height of only 5.5 inches above the ground, which is likely to impair any BVW beneath them. So Pete has, pr has prepared um, a number of um, documents, maps and description and photographs to address these comments. And I'm gonna turn it over to Pete to um, go through those and explain them to us how they address the comments. Okay. Great, thanks, Monty. So uh, can I put up a map? Am I you should be able to screen share. All right. Good, okay, share. Okay, is that visible to everyone? Yes, can you make it a little bigger? Sure. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so uh, the just just to show you what the features are on the map, as as you know, here's the parking up on the right, and the blue line is the exact configuration location of the proposed bog bridging all the way down to the stream crossing, which was approved previously. Um, and, and as Mark Stinson noted, uh, there are the, the wood in contact with the ground in the form of the sleepers under the decking, uh, total 135 square feet. In other words, one square foot for each two foot long by six inch sleeper. Um, so uh, the, the trail then continues on in an upland down there. And then uh, the, the BVW line uh, with wetland below and upland above and the area around the line, uh, basically a transition zone where you're getting uh, probably an even balance of upland and wetland. Uh, vegetation. The, uh, the points that are blue flagged in the field are the white dots. So uh, every, we're, we're, we're just stipulating that everything in this area is BBW. And then uh, the, the point that Mark made about the replication, uh, we are glad to install a replication area here, 10 feet by 14 feet, 
uh, and I'll, I'll show you the narrative description, but it basically um, will be done in the same way that we did uh, a very similar sized replication area in Hadley just earlier this year. Uh, by digging down, oh, it's right, it's located immediately adjacent to the wetland line, which is basically required. And we'll dig down six inches to get closer to the water table and put it on a par with the elevation of the, of the adjacent wetland. And we will uh, plant a wetland uh, seed mix, grass seed mix, uh, that we'll probably get from New England wetland plants, which is now relocated to Hadley. Uh, or if, if they're, uh, they don't have what we need, we'll, we'll find another source. And then we'll, our proposal is to put in two, at least one inch caliper high bush blueberries and get them established so they successfully um, persist in that site. Uh, one of the other points is the spacing between the decking cross pieces will be one full inch. Uh, we've done that before and that has passed muster with both the Hadley and the, and the Amherst commissions. And I'll, I'll just say by comparison, we, we brought very similar proposals to Hadley and, and Amherst. Neither one considered the bog bridging to be um, to be something that would uh, prevent uh, wetland vegetation from coming up. Uh, and uh, only Hadley required a replication area, uh, Amherst didn't. Um, if I can now put, any questions about the map? Is that clear enough? No questions. Okay, so let me now put up the narrative. All right, so you've already seen the first three paragraphs, which is what we originally submitted. Uh, then it, the bottom paragraph on this page uh, discusses the replication plan. So uh, if anybody is interested in looking, the, the corners are marked with red flags labeled Southeast, Northeast, Southwest, Northwest. Uh, and I'll show you a, a couple of photographs of that exact site. So it's a flat open area with no trees and very light ground cover with zero uh, wetland, uh, facultative wetland plants or, or obligates. So we've, we've got uh, a, a couple dozen uh, very small quantities of bittersweet and red oak seedlings and a number of others that are on the chart that I'll show you. Uh, so, as I said, we will remove the top six inches of soil by hand, um, put, put the fill from that um, exact rectangle off, off onto the wetland, up the, excuse me, the upland part of the adjacent land. Uh, let me go to the next page. Whoop, I'm sorry. We can do that. Anybody got an idea how to get to the next page when I'm doing this? Is it the same document? Yeah. Um, can you drag the um, bar down on the right? Uh, go a little bit to the left of where your arrow was. Hoping I could do, and instead I lose the. Let me let me move. There, me there move. are two bars, and you you need to go to the one a little to the left of the one you were on. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, there's only one bar. But wait a minute, maybe when I get this back up again. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Got it. Sure. Okay. So here is the chart of vegetation. Uh, the, the left column shows everything that is within about 20 feet of the flagged wetland line. And it's really a balance. Uh, we've got facultative, about five facultative wetland species, a little bit of royal fern, a number of winter berries, uh, I think a couple of high bush blueberries. 
um, a little bit of white pine and, and a good bit of white ash. And then uh, all of these upland species, which are, and, and you can tell that what, what I did was, this is fairly standard, is to use a, a five point scale uh, with uh, one indicating zero to 1% cover, two, one to 5%, and, and three, uh, five to 25%. We had nothing above that. So um, the, the balance where the line was placed was about equally distributed between wetland and upland. And then the replication area species are these that um, I hope everybody can read all these yeah. um, that are present there. And then what I also did this afternoon was to walk one more time, walk the, the flagged uh, bog bridge uh, root and asterisk plants that were that could be directly impacted by the bog bridging. Uh, more upland than than wetland, but there are a few high bush blueberries that are next to the root, and I think we can avoid those. There are a few winter berries that are next to the root, and I think we can avoid those. You know, we we can we can. Um, move a, a few feet in one direction or another to keep a fairly straight line, but to avoid some of those species. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you some photographs or at least one photograph of uh, bog bridging that is, is somewhat typical of the bog bridging that we're familiar with. We've, we've built and, and observed bog bridging all over the state and it's, it's seldom that the bog bridging would, would prevent species from um, continuing to grow beneath, especially with the one inch uh, uh, spacing between the boards. Um, so if, if there are no, are there do, any do questions? You, do you have that, that um, the one inch spacing between the boards? It sounds like um, Mark Stinson didn't see that. Did you, did you add that? Um, note somewhere that there's yes, I did in the in the narrative on the on the page okay. just above yeah yeah so we will we will stick with that and the and the, the planks are only five and a half inches across so the, the one inch represents you know a, enough of a of a gap to allow a good bit of water through and, and light from the side and this the the, the bridging is fairly narrow I and mean, we're talking about basically 21 inches yeah so um, any questions about uh, the narrative or the chart? No. If not, uh, let me bring up the uh, pictures. Okay, so first of all, Okay, this is what uh, I know I know several of you have have walked through. This is what the uh, the actual root of the uh, potential bog bridging looks like. And there's, uh, uh, show you the next one. This is also vegetation on the root. So there's actually a good bit of poison ivy. Uh, there's scattered sensitive fern, not very much. And uh, uh, the vegetation is fairly low and we'll be able to avoid almost all of the shrubs uh, that are there. So we're really talking about kind of a light scattering of ground vegetation. Then the third one shows uh, a view from the south of the um, replication area. So this is the southeast corner, southwest corner, uh, northwest corner, and then over here is the northeast corner. So it's fairly level. As you can see, there's a light scattering of upland seedlings and bittersweet. The next picture is another view of the replication area looking from the north toward, so just beyond this line, uh, which is the south line of the replication area is the beginning of the BBW. And then, um, let's see. Oh yeah, this is, uh, I, somebody has been in, uh, on one of the wetter spots in a couple of places putting sticks down. I don't think it was the deer, although there are deer tracks there. I think it was somebody getting enthusiastic. 
And then um, here's an example of bog bridging. This is actually about 12 years old. It's a, the Inside Meditation Society, but it's an example of vegetation uh, growing up through and around uh, the bog bridging. So um, it's not exactly the same situation, but it's, it's something that we can expect and that maintenance will be needed to keep the the adjacent vegetation from crowding out the bog bridging. Uh, I think that is it. And uh, if I can just remind you what the bog bridging will look like. Um, this, this will be, the, the one inch spacing will be here and um, the, 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 the um, two foot by six inch sleepers are there. So I don't think I have anything else. Um, so any other questions that I can address? Questions, comments? From any commissioners? I'm all set. All set. So what, what we'd like to do if there's time this fall is to get the replication area started. Uh, I think there's if 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 we're um, if we're given the order of conditions, we'll pursue proceed as soon as we can to get that started. And then uh, the the construction, I think, could still occur in October and November. And we're the Kestrel plans to have a number of volunteers and we'll caution them about trampling down vegetation and uh, we'll be working with them on the on the project. Okay. So it looks to me like we have all the information that we need to close the hearing. Are you, do you feel ready to vote on closing the hearing, Commission? I think so. I think we've answered all of DEP's questions, unless there was anything else anybody can think of. All right. I make a motion that we close the hearing. Um, Andy? Second. <laughs> um, Ann? Uh, I. I we're just looking for an I here or a nay. George? Aye. All right, the hearing is closed. Um, let's see. And do we want to put any special conditions on it? Everybody's good. I think uh, like Pete said, if they know if they have somebody there on site, if they're going to make you know watch so they don't trample a lot of vegetation, that should be fine. So I think they know what they're doing. Do we need to um, put that in an order of conditions that someone nah. who knows what they're doing? <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I think a lot of people at Kestrel know what they're doing. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I make a motion that we vote to approve this project without special conditions. Um, George. Aye. Ann? Aye. And Andy? Aye. And I vote aye. Oh, I forgot. On the last one, I also vote aye. Um, so uh, you are good, Pete. Okay, much appreciated. And if any of you want to volunteer while we get the project going, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely want to volunteer. Um, okay. Scott, Do you have to we... sign something again, Monty? Um, Scott, you want to come back on and see if tell us if we missed anything and if you have something for us to sign. Yeah, sure. Um, Pete, can you stop sharing? There we go. Yeah, no, sounds like you guys have got it wrapped up. You said no special conditions, right? Right. Um, yeah, in which case I, I will uh, get this stuff all printed out and I'll leave it at the town offices so that you folks can stop by and sign it. Uh, hopefully this week and as soon as we get enough signatures, I'll, I'll put it in the mail. Should I send it to you, Pete, or send it to Chris at Kestrel? Why don't you send it to me and I'll, I'll forward it right to Chris. Okay. And, you know, with um, 
with orders of conditions, they also need to be recorded at the Franklin Registry of Deeds. So whoever gets the original, you'll need the original copy, which is what I will send in order to do that. So you'll send that hard mail, service mail? I usually send it certified mail, yeah. So you'll get it. Yeah, uh, okay, great. We'll watch for that. All right, sounds like we're done with that. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, thanks, Pete. Thank you very much, you guys. Have a good evening. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and then as to the rest of the agenda, did anybody look over the minutes from last week, last month? Minutes looked fine. Yep, looked good. All right, all in favor of accepting the minutes? Monty? Aye. Andrew? Aye. George? Aye. Ann? Aye. And I vote aye as well. Does anybody have any updates or other business? I have one question. There was something in the scoop article about a culvert or something. Was that going to come before us? I didn't read the scoop, so I don't know uh, what was in there. Something about a culvert replacement on between State Road and Long Plain or something. I don't know. Between State Road and Long Plain. Yeah. That would be Christian Lane, or is that? Yeah, I guess. I'm thinking they said it was, I think it's by the castaways there. I was thinking there was something that was, I don't know. I wasn't certain. I didn't read it that closely. Huh. I read the scoop and I don't remember that. Uh, oh, my mom said she read something. I was like, Unless it was in the paper, maybe. What if, is it on on one of the Waitley roads? Is it one of key yeah. projects? Could be. Yeah, could be. Yeah, I think it is on Christian Lane by the Castaways. Yeah. Well, Keith knows to come to us before he does anything. So yeah, yeah. As, as long as it's in his jurisdiction, I'm not too worried. Yeah, that's I figured it would be something simple enough. Yeah. Um, I got word that a uh, forest cutting plan came in uh, for, you know, the Northampton water supply lands up in West Waitley. I haven't picked it up, so I haven't looked at it yet. And if anybody's itching to see it, feel free to stop by and pull it out of the mailbox. And if you see anything scary, let me know. Anybody else have any other business for tonight? Nope. No. Nope. Thanks. All right, quick one. We got a good clap of thunder and a flash of lightning, but it seems like that's it. I, I don't even hear any rain out there. So It's raining here. Is it? Oh, yeah. All right. Maybe it's coming our way. <laughs> All right. Thank you for handling that, uh, that Kestrel NOI without me. And uh, thanks for coming out tonight. And we'll see you next month. Okay. Right. See you. Okay.